Hi, this is Kevin Deal. Today we're going to talk about triode and ultralinear switching. This is a vintage Western Electric 300B, probably the most fam famous triode tube ever manufactured. And because it's so rare, this tube is worth thousands of dollars. So what's a triode? It simply means that there's three elements in the tube. The cathode that emits electrons, the control grid that regulates the flow of electrons, and the plate that attracts the electrons. Early radio sets operated in triode tubes single-ended, meaning the power tube operates both sides of the musical waveform, positive and negative. These are commonly called SET. Single-ended triode amps are still in existence today. Now, look you guys, I own three of them, but I don't use them. And why is that? Low power and high source impedance. And look, I get it. The guys that pray to the single-ended triode god treat it like it's a religion. But what they won't talk about is the fact that you greatly limit the speakers you can choose from. I want to use the best sounding speaker, not the best sounding speaker that's 97 dB efficient with a 16 mm impedance. Get the best speakers. I mean, if you have the money to play with SET for fun and you have a few systems, go for it. But if you don't have a few systems and you want that flexibility in sound, listen up. In the late 1940s, high performance audio was being born and push-pull triode amplifiers were state-of-the-art. With push-pull, you get more power and a lower output impedance, and you still had the sweetness of triodes. Then came more modern output tubes like the fabulous EL34 Pentode with more internal elements that increased power and efficiency, and modern high-performance audio was born. In the early 1950s, Pioneers like Marantz and Dynaco started manufacturing a new amplifier design called Ultra Linear. Now, ultra Linear amplifiers claim the beauty of triode push pull sound, but with better control, bandwidth, and lower distortion. And I describe it like this Ultra Linear, the flattest response. Almost tube amps, to, um, almost all tube amps today or some twist on the ultralinear design. But the warm sound of triode is a beautiful experience. This Prima Luna is running eight different power tubes at once to demonstrate the power of adaptive auto bias engineering. It's a mixture of kinkless tetrodes, pentodes, and beam power tubes, including a 6L6, KT66, KT77, KT88, KT90, 6550, EL34, and a KT150. All of these tubes can run as triodes, and literally, you can change the sound of this amplifier at the push of a button. In ultralinear, you get the most power and bandwidth. All that bass slam and top end extension to the stars that Prima Luna is famous for. Push the button on the wireless remote control, and now you're in triode. The power tubes are being run with three active elements in the tube, just like they were a 300B. Now the power drops in half and the music takes on a more relaxed presentation. I mean, it's that golden glow that everybody talks about. Now, which is better? You decide. You change it based on the music and your mood. And I'll tell you, this is why I love it. I realized I had a ton of music that I stopped listening to and I wasn't even sure why. And I'm talking about David Bowie from the Ziggy Stardust days, uh, Rolling Stones, Zeppelin, and a bunch of other stuff. And I loved it, but somehow they sounded so aggressive on a modern high resolution system. Then I played them on a Prima Luna in Trout and boom, gone is all that aggression. I mean, it simply melted away. I also found that I love triode operation uh, late at night when I'm creating a relaxing vibe before going to bed. And I'm gonna give you a tip. When you switch to triode, the power drops in half, so the volume goes down three dB. That can trick your brain when you're trying to determine which one you prefer. 
So you have to compensate for that when you make comparisons. When you switch to triode, you have to bump up the volume a little bit. What I suggest is not an A-B comparison, but to listen to triode for a while to see how it makes you feel. And since it's on the remote, you get to choose without moving a muscle. Look, only Prima Luna gives you all this flexibility and fun. And that's Music Illuminated.